Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this uh, video, SS section of solids 27, we do a question which is very, very interesting. A cube 50 mm side rests on HP on a face, square face. The orientation is not given. Press on HP on a face. It is cut by a cutting plane, inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP, in such a way that the true shape is a regular hexagon. True shape is a regular hexagon. The side of the hexagon is not given. The position of the cutting plane is not given. Only given thing is, it's a cube resting on a face. Let us draw it and then we will come back and discuss about the arguments. Okay. X, Y line. I keep the Q like this. How is the Q? All lateral faces. All lateral faces equally inclined to be all lateral faces equally inclined to be a b c d e f g h a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash F dash, G dash, H dash. Now, find its center and its center. Connect them by a cutting plane. Vt. Vt. Where all does it cut? It cut AB. AB at 1 dash. A dash, B dash at 1 dash. B dash, F dash at 2 dash. H dash, F dash, G dash at 3 dash. G dash, H dash at 4 dash. Same point. 5 dash. Again at 1 dash, 6 dash. 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash. Those are the cutting points. Drop them to the plan. 1, 6, 3, 4, 2, 6. Hatch this. Hatch this at 45 degrees to the x y line. Now, Draw an x1 y1 parallel to the cutting plane. An x1 y1 parallel to the cutting plane. x1 y1. Draw projectors through these points perpendicular to x1 y1. 1, 2, 3. Which distance to mark? Mark the distance of 1 from xy and mark from x1 by 1. What do you get? You get 1, 1. Same is the distance of 3. So you get 3, 1. Mark the distance of 2. Two one. Where is it? It is on the projection through 2 dash. Extends here. 4, distance of 4, 4, 1, same is 6, 1, then 5, 1. Connect them. H 
touch it at 45 degrees to external neighbor. What is it? It's a true shape. Its shape is a regular hexagon. Its shape is a regular hexagon. This is the side. What is it actually? It is this. What is it? It is half of this diagonal. Since it cut this midpoint, it is half of this diagonal. What is this diagonal? This diagonal is, if the side is 50, this diagonal is 50 root 2. This is half of that. That means 50 by root 2 or 50 root 2, 50 root 2 by 2 equals 50 by root. So this hexagon has got a side of 50 by root. This is a regular hexagon. Now the question is how do we know that? How do we know the cutting plane has to go through this? Okay, let us argue. Suppose the cutting plane passes a little bit away, it will cut here so that you get a smaller distance here, it would cut here somewhere, it will be larger distance. So it will not be a regular hexagon. To get a regular hexagon, it has to pass through its center and pass through its center so that these two sides become same. Then these two also become same. So the true shape is a regular hexagon. What are the other possibilities? There are so many other cutting planes possible in this particular cube. So many other cutting planes. Okay, we will come to that later. This indicates that there can be scope for indirect questions. What type of indirect questions? You can be given the side of the hexagon without giving the side of the cube. So if the side of the hexagon is given, that into root 2 will be the side of the cube. This side is given, suppose, 30. Then what is the side of the cube? Side of the cube is 30 root 2. Agree? It's an indirect possible question. If you keep the cube with one side parallel to BP, whatever cutting plane you choose, you will not get 6 points. If you keep the cube at a instead of 45, 45, at a different inclination, you may get a hexagon, but the hexagon will have different sides. All sides will not be equal. For all sides to be equal, this is a unique position for the cube. I hope you understand. Okay. Thank you.